Hi crafty YouTubers, it's the Cranky Craft here. I'm coming on um, as I thought um, I shall do a little video and um, do a little bit of card making. Um, I'm gonna got to take it easy for a little while so we're just going to do some little of the 3x3 three three cards that I've been making um, and I should, we should be going along with them. But before I do that, I shall show you what I've done to help me get going with them. Um, I purchased three boxes from the works, um, and these are perfect sizes for this for doing the, doing this project. In here, I have all my um, card bases for my three by three cards, and they're just six by threes and I pop them in there and if I have an odd bit of card or something like that I just pop it in there ready for when I want to make a card and then I can just take a colour out and you know pick a card based colour that, that appeals to me at the time for whatever card I'm doing and then I have my envelopes here yes I did cheat and I bought some off of eBay naughty naughty I know but when they are only 99p for 50 I mean it <laughs> it saves going through making 50 of them on your um, punch board doesn't it? yes Sarah it does um, then in this box here I have um, the next size down for your layering um, which would be this one on here um, because this card only had the one layer on because I, I wanted to do some stamping and colouring watercolouring actually um, so I decided I think these ones are if I remember rightly they're two and three quarters <coughs> I shall measure because some of them may be off because I've just put bits in that are quite kind of like that size um, but no, this one is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Um, so that's the next size up for your layer. So you have, um, let's go with blue and yellow. Um, so you have, you pick out a blue one and then you obviously, you fold it in half to create your card base. Now, one thing to point out with, you don't have to have really thick cardstock to form a, and make a good, decent card because you're layering and you're going to be layering on this side of the card on the outside and then you're also going to be layering on the inside when you put a piece in to write your of white card stock to write your sentiments in you don't necessarily I don't know what's happened there <laughs> you don't necessarily have to have really I mean this is I think probably 160 um, you don't have to have really thick cardstock. You can get away with about 160, um, and then you, as I said, you're layering it up. And each time you put a layer on it, you're making it stronger. So this one is the four. No, sorry, even the two and three quarters. And then in this little box here is the layer down from that, which should be two and a half. Um, and then what I do is if I have bits of cardstock laying around well that could be two and a half is it I just cut them down if I have some and I pop them into the boxes yeah two and a half by two and a half well, what, was, what was wrong with that one then two and three quarters Oh, that one's not quite two and three quarters. See, I put some um, different shaped ones in, you know, because they were similar sort of sizes, and I like I might use it. So that's what I'm saying. You can you you just make up your boxes and you use all your scraps up that way. So this is what I do to store all my um, stuff, getting ready to make um, my three by three cards and uh, like I said it's not just plain cardstock that you can put in here you can put your pattern papers in here or your DSP whatever you want to call it I mean I do actually have some um, Valentine's but mind you that's you could use that on anything but this is the crepe paper 
from last year um, Kiss Kiss I think it is yeah so um, and I mean I'll just pop them in there so for when I'm ready to make a card so this is what we're going to be doing today we're going to be making some 3 by 3 cards um, just because I really can't be overdoing things so I've picked out some of these embellishments now I'm going to make the card that I made for our Betsy Doodle and she fell in love with it um, I'm probably not going to do it in the same colours um, for obvious reasons um, but I'm going to do the card um, that she liked so much and um, that's using um, these heart buttons wooden buttons from G's Embellishment Emporium dot com um, and all these are actually these little and I've got various other things here I've picked out some little hats and these are flat backed hats and they're adorable and they're just perfect for Easter and there's the three colours of them there um, and these are resin whoops these aren't wooden these are resin and then I don't know whether I'm going to use all of these but then I've picked out some wooden butterflies um, that he also stocks and these are buttons that you know wooden butterflies so I thought I'd give it a go now that piece I know is dirty can we get around that I think can we get around that you never throw pieces of paper away well for a start let's have a look and see whether or not this bit in the middle will cover it we've got two pieces there maybe not maybe I have maybe it's not that size anyway <laughs> she says golly gosh I can't help it um, yeah so that covers that mark so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one anyway so for a start we just fold the piece which is six by three if you remember in half and give it a burnish not too much though because um, you don't want to split the cut the um, actual cardstock and then I'm going to take that and put that inside where's my tape runner um, now these tape runners are from Create and Craft I get all of my tape runners from there because you can get um, a pack, they're quite cheap um, buying them in bulk so that pops on there like that and that's the inside of our card now um, I think because it's blue I might use this bluey type um, and he looks like he's going to a party because he's got his party hat on can you see that <laughs> so um, that's got yellow in it so I don't know shall we go that's not even the right size let's go with that colour maybe and then have we got a have we got a blue I'm looking for a blue got a purple maybe I haven't got a blue oh no no purple should we go with white then on top of that he's not marrying up now that goes there I'm going to just double check these measurements no that one's not quite wide enough oh I think that's the one I picked up before <laughs> that's the one what am I like? Never mind. There we go. That's better. Right. So I'm going to put this one on. And this is these cards are just super simple and quick. 
and that's what you want if you um you need to make a card for someone or you want a quick card to put in a rack or anything like that um these are the cards to make because like i said they're just so easy and quick and if you've got everything just sat there waiting for you to use that's even better so that's what i do and for beginners it's a perfect start to card making because you know you're not wasting a lot because you're actual fact you're using your wastage um you're not wasting a lot if it goes wrong <laughs> you know um because there isn't much there to waste so you know my, I need something else on there. Uh, that's on white now. <laughs> Should we go for a bit of what we went for before? I don't know. I don't like that white colour on there. Let's take that off. See now, look, everyone makes mistakes, including me, including all the best crafters. I just said I don't like that colour. Um, I'm going to find some blue and cut it down. I don't know how I've got blue in there and I haven't got blue. I don't know. Let's use one of these. Same colour. Now this piece here needs to be two and a half by two and a half. So I'll just get my scoreboard let's go two and a half by two and a half I think I need to change the blade in this it's getting a bit ratty um, so that's that cut Super simple, super simple, and we'll we'll stick that one now. There we go. So there's the layers, and I think I am going to go with this, um, simply because that is how I did make. Um, our noodles card so you just cut a bit of this is cheesecloth or or some people call it um um can't even think now <laughs> it'll come to me in a minute i just want to make that a little bit tatty on the ends because i don't want it to be look like it's all neat and Tidy. on the ends. Obviously, I don't want loads and loads of strands either. So, gonna get a bit of hot glue and just pop a bit of hot glue in the middle let's pop that on there like that I'm going to use that just pop that down be careful not to burn yourself I've got glue in there it's coming through and then I'm going to pop a bit of hot glue on down the back side two sides of the button don't put it too near the dots because it will squirt through and you can risk burning yourself and then just pop that on there like that and if you want to put a little sentiment on you can across there have I got a little one to put on there let me have a look um, 
and uh, I'm trying to think I've got a small one that will work mm. no I think I'm going to leave it like that um, and just because that's how I made our noodle doodles just like that um, with a little bit of um, cheesecloth underneath the button um, I don't know why I turn it around and still haven't got out of that habit and just made it like that I think if I can find a little um, sentiment or something in there I might just pop something on the corner there and um, saying something just for you or something like that um, and that's how we made it actually I'm going to have a look see if I can find a sentiment um, she says in her if you saw my stamp drawer um, I'm surprised I could find anything to be honest <laughs> I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use that one. This is the new stamp set that I bought the other day from Katie Sue Designs and it's really quite lovely. So I'm going to use Blessings and uh, let me find my stamp block. Where's my stamp block? I should use this one. Now where's this one I want? There. Right in the middle. <laughs> so. Pop that down there. that up and where's my ink there's my memento magnolia childers watching out for my memento today <laughs> let's see if i can get that on there yeah probably should have stamped it before because that might not go on now maybe I'm going to pop it down there. Let's get my scissors. Give it a haircut. There we go, and then I'm going to get a pin now, if I can find one, so I can just, I'll use my scissors, because I've cut that off again, I just want to rough it up. See, anything can be repaired, I don't know. And there's the um, little card that I made using a sweet little heart button from G's Embellishment Emporium and then some cheesecloth and then just layered um, with a two and a half inch and a two and three quarter inch in the yellow and then uh, six by three folded in half to form the... Have you seen this? <laughs> I must have put my hand in the... <laughs> oh dear and then uh, and then um yeah and then just put some white cardstock inside I will, i'll tell you what i have got the i don't think you've seen yet but where did i put it she says tell you what i have got she can't find it herself <laughs> oh lord oh, 
you think I should start this video all over again? No, never mind. I'm just going to let it run and you people can just have a good old laugh at me. This is my new stamp, folks. I'll stamp it on the back so you can have a look. I had this made. And if you want the name of the site and you're in the UK, um, if you message me, I'll let you know who it is. It's not that it's any big secret or anything, but, you know, I have to go and find it and to put a link on here, so <laughs> I can't be bothered at the moment. So if you do want it, let me know, because um, might, I might go to all that trouble and no one wants it, but, you know. There you go, and this is my new stamp that I had specially made for me. It says, handmade by Sarah Crankshaw. The Cranky Crafter. Isn't that just sweet? I love that. I love that. So here's my card. It's only taken me 21 minutes just to make one free by free card, but hey ho, you know, it's what you put into it that counts. Right, I haven't it took you. Right, so bye for now, folks. I will come back and make some more, but I'm going to go up, sign off now and because um, it's 21 minutes. So bye for now.